Hi, welcome to uh, Two Old Guys Talk About Stuff, important stuff. Mm. And uh, generally speaking, we talk about stuff that's not only uh, in our lives, but uh, important to everybody our age. And Art, you went through some major surgery recently, not uncommon uh, for oldsters, mm -hmm. as we uh, like to admit that we are. Uh, your gallbladder surgery, how's it going? Well, first of all, I want to say that, uh, uh, well, I don't think it was major surgery, but the only difference between that is major and minor surgeons. So I was glad I had a major surgeon. Uh, yeah. Because literally, I, I went into the operating theater at uh, 8, and I was home in my house by 1030. So Isn't that amazing? That was pretty good. And so yeah. I, was, I was feeling pretty good. I was expecting a, a pretty quick recovery, literally within two days, because they had to wait for the anesthesia to wear off, make sure it was totally out. I was driving. Right. And uh, I was given a restriction of uh, uh, four or five weeks, not to list anything heavy like a grandchild or... Uh, heavy groceries or things like that, and yeah. so. Uh, but I thought uh, exercises. Well, how, how long? How long has it been now since the surgery? Uh, just about a month. Okay, so four yeah. weeks, and yeah. and how you doing? So the biggest thing for me was that I thought I was going to be back in the gym within a week, which I was, uh, yeah. but I wasn't back to my normal routine. I, I had actually go to. I have three sort of uh, uh, exercise routines. I generally go six or seven mornings a week and do about 10 miles on a, on a bike uh, yeah. and watch the morning uh, business news. Right. Uh, then two days a week, I practice Tai Chi for two hours a morning with a, a group of 30 or 40 people I've been dealing with for a long time. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, three days a week, I was going back and doing uh, uh, weight training, uh, building muscle and things like that. And to me, wow. that's my routine. And... Right. Uh, uh, I love it, uh, but I found that um, uh, the, the biking, which I did about nine or ten, eight to ten, but normally nine or ten miles a day in the morning for about an hour. That's all it took. Uh, I'm now up to seven miles. Uh, okay, and, and it's four weeks. Not well. First of all, I have to tell you, one week after surgery, forget that it wasn't major surgery. All right, mm -hmm. yeah. arthroscopic and whatever. One week to be back in the gym, I think, is amazing. Now, granted, it's from a guy who can't even spell gymnasium. Well, right? you know, Much less has ever when, you been in when you pass one, you're, yeah, you're not exactly sure what one. it was. Yeah, if they didn't put a GYM after it, then I'd never know what it was. <laughs> yeah. Um, but really, I think you're being too ambitious. It's four weeks now. You're seven seven tenths of the way back to your normal routine but i haven't i haven't i haven't gone for the weight training and that's only because uh i was worried about uh you could you have stitches most of the only exterior wounds are are healed uh you know the scarring but i mean basically they're healed but i didn't want to uh endanger any of the uh the stitches that i might have had inside and uh, quite frankly i wasn't feeling strong enough but what I found is that I've gotten weaker because I haven't been exercising the leg lifts and the arm uh, sure. pulls and things well, that, like that. That's understandable. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you're... so that that but I did uh, I finally back to uh, uh, Tai Chi, uh, which uh, doesn't look all that strenuous. But when you practice for two hours, uh, after an hour and a half, I was uh, pretty exhausted. I'm just about getting back now to uh, uh, you know, a full two hours. All right, don't take this the wrong way, but boo-hoo, boo-hoo, <laughs> it's only been four weeks and I'm still not back to normal. Really? Yeah, you know, I'm, a, I, I'm a whiner. I'm a whiner. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're too ambitious. You had, because it was, you know, modern surgery and they could get you out in an hour and a half mm -hmm. and you could recuperate at home, I think you had this thing in your head where I'm going to be back to normal in two weeks. Oh, I'll be back in the gym. I'll be doing... No, six, I've all my whole life, I've always heard from doctors six weeks, mm -hmm. six weeks for a cast, six or eight weeks for a cast, six weeks for this, six weeks for that. I, I just can't believe that you expect to be at four weeks. So, so, on the, other, to so the message for our audience is that yeah. even though my expectations were higher, that I would be back more fully for the exercise, which would mean it's a normal routine. Uh, 
I accepted the fact that I wasn't ready and that uh, I did have a post-op uh, discussion with my doctor. And he said, yeah. as you're ready, but he says, don't push the, the lifting weights. And that's why I thought it'd be back to uh, weightlifting about a week or two ago. And I'll probably start easing my way back maybe one or two days a week uh, starting yeah. this week. So anyway, uh, listen to your doctor. But uh, even yeah. though as good as you feel, because some of these surgeries, literally, you're in and out. It's astounding that I was home that day. And uh, my brother-in-law, who had a... a there's a gallbladder taken out, and he's a couple of years younger than I am. Uh, six months ago, he was walking his dog that afternoon. Uh, yeah. So uh, not that he was doing yeah, any. Yeah, but he other... wasn't at the gym. So. Yeah, he wasn't. At, he wasn't at the gym. Yeah. Okay. And by the way, uh, uh, for all those people who will feel so sorry for John because he doesn't doesn't get a lick of exercise, he's a gardener. He's a farmer. He's farmer John, and he does plenty <laughs> of bending all the time, and he. He ra he and he raises uh, uh, his uh, zucchinis and and uh, squash and and uh, uh, carrots. Well, so, I, I just I just weeded half of my twenty three gro tree grove this weekend and uh, have four huge barrels of uh, weeds. So, right. but that's not the point. The point is that as you bring up, listen to your doctor. And you were smart, even though you're disappointed that you haven't uh, beat the average. You're you're smart in that you're not pushing it. Right. You're taking it taking it as you can. You're you're listening to your body. That's good. That's good. I think there's a lesson there for everybody, because as we get older, we're going to have operations. You know, some are going to be major, some are going to be minor, but nobody gets by to our age without having a few operations here and there. Right. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.